Hello everybody, today we are on board Leaf Chaser with the owner and operator and we're going to find out what makes him special on Charter with these uh, series of questions. So, introduce yourself. Hi Bill, uh, my name is Josh Gillespie, Captain Josh, and this is Pip, my first mate, uh, who's often sleeping on watch. <laughs> so Josh, um, how did you get the chartering down here in the Virgin Islands? What's your background? Where did you grow up? So, I, I grew up across the United States, uh, mostly the South and East Coast, Texas, Louisiana, with high school in Virginia. Uh, ever since I was 14, I had this fantasy of running away on a catamaran, and I uh, instead I ran, I joined the Navy at 17, which was uh, not not the not, not the fun way to do it, uh, but I had a two decade, two to three decade long career, both as a naval officer on ships. Um, that, that brought me around the United States. Uh, went to training in Midwest, Chicago, uh, spent some time on ships in Norfolk, Virginia, spent some time in the Mediterranean, in Italy, um, went to school in New York uh, in ROTC, um, and then I ended up spending the next 10 years in Asia Pacific. Um, spent some time in Japan, studied in China a couple times, uh, lived in Hong Kong, Singapore, Guam, um, and, uh, and then business school. Went back to New York on Wall Street uh, for a few years, uh, and then moved to San Francisco with with my bank. And I think there was a point in my time where I was like, "Let me actually get back to what I really want to do in life, which is uh, explore." Um, and and I saw a really good opportunity to, to charter in the Caribbean. Absolutely, great. Uh, so, what types of charter experiences do you offer to guests? So when I when I think about um, what what I offer, it's it's probably a menu, really, because I look at what I would like in my vacations when I look back at um, you know the wide variety of vacations that I've had and wanted, whether it's um, you know an adventure eco tourism, whether it's uh, you know an avid scuba diver, um, whether you know hiking. Um, active based or whether sometimes you just want to chill out on the beach, read a book, um, you know, relax with family, talk with friends. Um, so when I'm thinking about what I, what I want to offer my guests, it's, I just looking back at my own experiences and realize that there's been a wide variety of experiences that I've wanted myself at different points in my life, different environments, different times, um, with different people. And so my goal is to cater to, you know, with having that conversation ahead of time, so I can get a feeling of how to how to make how to cater the experience to a bespoke package for exactly what, what my guests are looking for. Perfect. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, so, when it's not charter season, what do you like to do in the off season? Oh, good question. Um, yeah, you know, I love the islands. There's a lot to explore here, and it's a never-ending uh, exploration process, pro uh, process with all the islands, the activities. Um, history but I do think if you stay in any one place too long uh, you, you get in your own little bubble uh, and professional and personal growth requires you to, to move into or, or do something that's that's unique um, expanding your uh, experiences either through meeting new people new cultures reconnecting with old friends um, and so on the off season, I think it's very important to do something different too. Um, and, and I have a wide range. I, I spent 10 years in Asia, as I said, um, you know, so probably my favorite thing is to go back and exp you know, do a culinary, a new culinary food tour of a, you know, some random country, whether it's in Asia or Europe that, that I've lived in before or, or see a new place, meet some I have friends around the world from my background, visit friends. Um, yeah. So yeah, I, you know, I think it's just important to kind of get off island a little bit. Right. And, and so you can bring something new and interesting back to your to your charter experiences going forward. There you go, perfect. Uh, so what would you say your favorite vacation is, speaking of your vacation experiences that you've ever taken? Ooh, good question. Um, so many, I don't, I don't think I've had a vacation I haven't loved by, around the world, but probably, and probably one of the reasons I came out of the Caribbean um, and doing this now is one of the one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life was about 25 years ago, uh, visiting my dad in Trinidad and Tobago and learning how to scuba dive for my first time as, as a you know late teenager. You know, I just joined the Navy, and 
you know, I, I did all my, all my intro dives out of a shack on the beach in Tobago in the nineties. Um, you know, picking up a spiny tail lobster, uh, on our dive, putting in the boiling pot while we read, you know, the paper version of the patty manuals, um, using only with no electricity, using the fire of the, of the pot to actually read the book and go through the quizzes. I mean, that was just such a cool experience and, uh, and, and a real, that was my first time, ex you know, being exposed to the island life. Wow. And, uh, awesome. so it's probably no accident I'm back here now. Right. All right. Very cool. Man. Uh, so yeah, bringing it back to the Virgin Islands, what would you say your favorite location is to bring guests to on charter? Mm -hmm. Um, there's so many and you know, it's probably, it's one of the most well-traveled and liked spots, but there's a reason for that. Uh, yeah, I think early on, assuming, you know, we pick up here in, in St. Thomas, go into Maho Bay and, or excuse me, when we pick up here in, and, uh, excuse me, in St. Thomas, go into Maho Bay and St. John. It's part of the national park system. Um, it's, it's a wonderful place to scuba, to snorkel. Um, but you're almost guaranteed to see sea turtles. And, you know, no matter where I've been in the world, whether it's Asia Pacific, the Caribbean, even Charleston, South Carolina, when you see one of these beautiful, you know, goddesses of the sea, graceful, gentle, um, you know, they, they, write, they symbolize everything of, of why you come here. And that, going to Maho Bay on that first night is a good way to just read, no matter what, what you're coming into this vacation with, it allows you to reset and and just understand or just reset your mindset to enjoying the vacation because you're you know you're in the ideal island environment. You got a bar there, you can have some cocktails if you want, you can go snorkeling. Um, but it's just a peaceful, idyllic place to this set the mood for the rest of the vacation. Mm -hmm. Definitely, super beautiful. Uh, great. So on charter, do you offer any special unique skills, uh, being a captain only, if you want to go into that more? Sure. So I'm, you know, I'm joining the, the captain 360 program with paradise yacht management, which is essentially, you know, it, it's still technically a captain only program, but it, it's much more than that. It's, uh, I would say it's a, a boat captain plus plus experience. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and, and while we can offer, um, you know, a, uh, to add a chef if, if, if it's desired by the guests, you know, I think a large, uh, a large, um, I'm filling a niche that, that is really not well um, served here, which is people, you know, on a more budget price point, um, but want to have an experience that's not, that they don't have to really figure out themselves. Um, and so whether you want, you know, you, you feel like you know how to sail or you have experience, you know, I'm happy to let you drive the boat, you know, and happy to give you that sailing experience if you want. Um, but you have somebody who's here, such as me, that, that really takes ownership over your experience, uh, that really cares about giving you uh, an experience on my boat that you walk away of saying that that's one of the best vacations I've ever had. So whether that's being able to offer my background of, of loving culinary traditions from around the world that I've been to, offering additional meals, um, provisioning, uh, helping with cleaning. You know, the goal is to make this a vacation, not a work, you know, not a stressful time for you. So, uh, you know, my, my goal is to basically give you that concierge service um, to help take some of the meal planning off your plate. You know, I can cook some, I can help you cook some. Um, um, but you know, whether it's a rainy day, we got PIP, who is in itself a instant entertainment vehicle. <laughs> I got plenty of water toys, of course, and, and I love water sports, so that's always an option. Um, you know, but also I have two decades of sea stories if, you know, you want to bore you with them. <laughs> you know, in the Navy around the South Pacific, my, you know, decade on Wall Street. Um, you know, so I, I feel there's a, there's a wide range where I can, you know, offer, uh, you know, some interesting, interesting days for me. Yeah, absolutely. You've lived many lives. Uh, well, great. That's all we have. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to experience anything Josh said in this interview, come on down to Virgin Islands on Leaf Chaser and uh, take you around. Thank you so much. Thank you.